Huh? Hey guys, welcome to Why So Aquarius. It's Mitch. I am not here, but I am here. You cannot see me. Mm. So sorry about that. We are talking about the Stonewall Riots this week. Making this video, I was really caught by something that happened on Facebook with a local artist here in the cities. Uh, Ryan Coit is a photographer, a very well-known photographer here in the cities. His art, which has been posted as the saloon's major artwork and advertisement for this Pride weekend in Minneapolis, displays a drag queen and a leather queer standing together. And it's very prominent because those two entities were very essential in the Stonewall Riots and in our history as a community and a people. I really think that you guys should go check out Ryan Coit Photography. I will post his website link below. Now, Stonewall Riots. Back in the 1960s, being gay was essentially illegal. You could be charged, harassed, imprisoned. Essentially, you you did not have any rights as an LGBTQ individual. And you were violated frequently. There were some bars and establishments open where gay people could come together. But those establishments were often raided by police for legal reasons, but the raids went beyond control. The Stonewall Inn was actually established by the Mafia, and it was run by them as well. The reason why this is is because it was easy business. There were not many people that were supporting gays and lesbians back then, and they easily attracted a crowd at the at the bars because it was a one place where people could go and feel safe-ish. And so by all means, the police had legal reasons to raid, but the way that they conducted police raids were violent and unruly. On June 28th in 1969, in Greenwich Village, New York, at the Stonewall Inn bar, a police raid broke out. Basically, this was like any other night for the, pe the people that attended this bar, but years of oppression and violence and attacks against gays and the LGBTQ community led up to a lot of tension and on June 28, 1969, the gays at the Stonewall Inn said enough is enough and they started to fight back the police. It ended up becoming a riot. Beer bottles were thrown at police. Police actually had to take shelter inside the establishment. Drag queens, gays, leathermen, everybody in that bar was fighting back and they were so sick of all of the oppression and the violence that they just couldn't stand it anymore and it just lashed out. Extended police forces came in and ended up stopping the riot that night, but the next day word spread and even larger crowds. Thousands of people ended up showing at the Stonewall Inn and protesting and rioting against law enforcement. This happened for about a week every night after that first night on June 28th. It drew huge attention to what was happening to our people and to what was happening in our country and to the fact that LGBTQ people were not going to take it anymore. They were not going to be oppressed. They were not going to be attacked and violated every day. They didn't want that anymore. So they fought back and it, it really paid off. That event, the Stonewall Riots, is what sparked the nation into the LGBTQ rights movement. Um, it was essentially the first point where basically everybody said enough is enough, we need rights. A year after, in 1970, the first ever Pride March was held in honor of the riots. And as you learned previously, that is where the Pride Parades came from. This week I just wanted to pay tribute once again to what happened in Orlando this past weekend by posting a video link in the description box of Anderson Cooper reading off the victims' names, and they also show pictures of some of them as well. It's a very touching and emotional video and I would definitely recommend it and watch just to pay tribute once again to those that were lost in the shooting at Pulse. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's really important that we know about this event and learn more about it because it's the start to where our people's progress came from. If you liked it, please click the like button down below. Do not forget to comment about any other important Pride Month details you might want me to know about or anybody else to know about and also do not do not do not forget to Subscribe to why so curious if you want to see my beautiful 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 smiling face every Friday All right. I love you guys so much, and I hope to see you next week. Bye